so they had to get others to do it for them because they would all look different, right? See, and once they had them hooked on the look, then they charged them for the cut. Now that's a hustle. Whoa, 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 wow. they didn't have money back then. Yeah, but they did have hoes. <laughs> How you think the fields got plowed? Hey, yeah, right, right. Wow. <laughs> you know, it's kind of interesting to think about the, the history of haircuts, you know? I mean, where do you think the first, uh, first lineup came from? Oh, shoot, I got a theory about that okay. Transylvania. Really? Really, I thought it would have happened with like black folks in the 80s. No, 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 it had to all start in Romania. I mean, think about it. What's the one thing you know about Transylvania? Vampires. Vampires, right. And they got that widow's peak. But if they wanted to go someplace and blend in, they had to get a shape up. But how would a vampire get a shape up? I mean, they can't come out in the daytime and ain't no barbershops open at night. The vampire barbershop, Kenny. Obviously, he going somewhere. Dracula wig be tight. <laughs> What's wrong, Jay? You look a little down. Yeah, uh, I just got some rough news. Uh, they're building a freeway through the neighborhood. Hell yeah! Now I can finally get to work faster. But man, we're only 10 minutes drive away from here. I know, but if that 10 minutes gets cut down to seven minutes, that's three minutes this way, three minutes that way. That's 2,000 minutes over the course of a year. You know what I could do with 2,000 extra minutes, Kenny? That's like having a whole new cell phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah shut up, Smitty. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't mean past the neighborhood. I mean through the neighborhood. Mm. They're tearing down the barbershop. Emergency meeting, everybody out. I said out. Hey, go finish up your own damn haircut. Go on, be glad we ain't charged it for the tissue. Wait, well, how can they tear this place down if you own it? If they're taking it by eminent domain. I mean, Eminem ain't from domain, he's from Detroit. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, no, Smitty. It's when the government uh, takes private property for public use. They can do that? Yeah. Oh, how about I write a letter to the president asking pardon the shop? Well, the, the president can't pardon shops. He could pardon a turkey. You telling me a turkey's more important than the black community? Yeah, well, I hate to break it to you, Smitty, but the government doesn't have a great track record for caring for black communities. Yeah, man. They didn't give a damn about us in the 70s. We were just jive turkeys. <laughs> I got it. I run for president. What? Uh, you, Smitty, we don't have time for jokes. Now is the winter of our discontent. Oh, Free money for everybody. That sounds good, don't it? Uh, no, and then no. when I get to be the president, I could pardon the shot. Smitty! Even if that was the stupidest thing I ever heard, it's too late. They're planning on starting work on the freeway very soon. Oh. Jay, did you get one of these letters too? Yep. Yeah, Jay, what am I gonna do? Percy cannot go back to his old job. They always want more than a massage. Oh. <sighs> Oh, did y'all see this bull sugar? Yes, man. Okay, so what we gonna do? I well, there was just one idea about me running for president. Oh, no, I mean, man, no. Man. Look, it's just a shame. There's, there's so much history in this barbershop. For real. I mean, this place is basically a landmark. Wait a minute. Community. Wait a minute. I got an idea. What if we turn the shop into a historical landmark? Yeah. yeah. What do you think? What do you think? Yeah, I think you're right. Then they can't shut none of us down. <laughs> yeah, and then I get back all them freeway minutes. No, Smitty, we, we don't, don't want no damn freeway. We don't want no damn freeway. We don't want no damn freeway. And that's what I say as President of the United States. Ladies and gentlemen, you're impeached. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's gonna be here any minute. Okay, okay. What, what, what if he doesn't show? Yeah, dude, I slipped a flyer in his office mailbox with a coupon for a free haircut that expires today. Now, okay, ah! okay, but w what if he doesn't need a haircut? No, everybody need a touch up and can't turn down free money, and I don't know government salary. All right, all right. All right. Let, let's uh, go over the plan. Now, when he comes in, we act like we don't have any idea that he's an appraiser for Landmark Preservation Committee. Okay, okay. Right, okay. And, and okay. We, we casually bring up all the historical stuff that went down here, go, and then go. his instincts kick in, right. and we become a historical landmark. Well, all right, right. Okay. It is a perfect plan. I think so. I okay, think okay, so. okay, well, what if he doesn't show up like my daddy did? And we're screwed because we only have 24 hours to get this place recognized as a, a landmark or our fate is sealed. <laughs> yeah, welcome. Welcome to the historical Jay's Chop Shop. 
Hello, uh, I received this coupon in the mail for a free cut. Oh, <laughs> great. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. My man, um, Smitty, will take care of you right here. Thank you. All right. All right. All right. Oh, yeah. What's he doing? No. <laughs> I'm just uh, appraising your beard. <laughs> uh, look, my lunch break is just an hour, so if you could just clean me up, up top, and shape up the beard. You got it, Mr. Jackson. Yeah. Hey. How did you know my last name is Jackson? I, I, um, yeah, uh, uh, but you know, it's, uh, it's, it's, you know, it's the, it's the latest new slang. You know, right? I mean, all the kids are using it. You know, yeah, right? what's up, Mr. Jackson? Or, <laughs> sorry, Mr. Jackson. Sorry, Mr. Jackson. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I will never understand all of this new slang. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I guess I'll always be an outcast for the new generation. <laughs> <laughs> I don't lie. That's with you. <laughs> I, I hate what these young people are doing. You know, I, I personally, <laughs> I like history right. <laughs> and historical things. I mean, it is so important to remember and preserve, you know, the way things were. Right. And wouldn't you agree? Uh, actually, I would. Oh, yeah. my gosh. Sometimes when I, I, I think about all the historical things that happened here, and it, oh, it gives me chills. Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> uh, is that right? Now, like what? Uh, uh, well, well like the Declaration of Independence, signed right here in this shop. Uh, no, 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 Smitty, that, that, that was in oh, Philadelphia. That was in the Alamo, the Alamo. You remember the Alamo happened right here? You know, no, that, that, that happened in Texas. Well, if you're not going to let me tell the man what happened, why don't you tell the man I what happened? I was just going to Hey, tell him, Smitty. Shut up. <laughs> well, actually, uh, my father's father started this shop uh, yeah, way back in the roaring 20s <laughs> during Prohibition. Right. I do declare. Babe Ruth is the greatest baseball player of all time. Oh, horse feathers. He ain't got nothing on Lou Gehrig. Well, Lou Gehrig can't hold a candle to the salt in the swat. Hell, he got a candy bar named after him. That's how great he is. Pish posh. <laughs> Lou Gehrig is going to get something named after him. You watch. I don't know what it is, but you watch. Well, just you wait till they let Negroes in the big leagues like Satchel Page. They won't even remember them white boys. Man, they ain't going to let no color folks in, in the major league. That'd be as likely as uh, the... The stock market crashing. <laughs> that ain't never gonna happen. That's what I'm saying. Oh, hey, sorry there, son, but we closed. Oh, really? I was told I could come in for a shave and a haircut. Uh, two bits. Well, you come to the right place. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Welcome to Jay's Juke Joint. Ha cha cha cha. Well, damn. Hold on. Interesting, sure, but not necessarily historical. Oh, uh, well. Uh, well, yeah, you see, there were many, many, many speakeasies oh, run all over the country. Uh, so. Yeah, but this one, Mr. Ruben Studdard, is where Al Capone used to hang out. Mm. Wasn't that Chicago? No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, you, you must be mistaken, Smitty. I, uh, I, I think it was a uh, gal. Capone. Oh, yeah, Gal. Yeah, Capone. yeah. Gal Capone. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, Gal Capone. Oh, yeah. She was a distant cousin to Al Capone. Yeah, very distant. Uh, matter of fact, she was the first African American female mob boss. Oh, uh, you know what? I heard of her. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. She had the biggest hooch operation on the West Coast. She was like that sister with the hot comb. Yeah. But with liquor. Mm. Yeah, yeah, exactly. She, she, she was a bad one. <laughs> hmm. Still not sure what we're looking at. It's right there. By the way, I love that scarf. It's the cat's meow. Oh, and it's real cat. Mm. African panther. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> how are you two enjoying Jay's juke joint? Oh my god, everything's amazing. <laughs> oh, I love these roaring 20s. <laughs> the cars. Oh, god. Ooh, the fashion. Yes. <laughs> and everything is so yes. modern yes. and nice. Well, your service should be around shortly. If you need anything, mm. let me know. I'll be around. <laughs> and you know what they say. They're saying that the sound is going to be coming to the silent film soon. Oh, no, 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 no. That doesn't work. Why? The talkers. Oh, oh, no one wants to hear Charlie Chaplin speak. 
They just want to see the little trap. Well, I know one thing. That mustache of his, it's gonna be around forever. Ooh, okay. He's in thank you. <laughs> Scram, trollops. You're at my table. Uh, we were here first, doll. <laughs> Does she know who I am? The famous Langston Hughes? <laughs> I'm Gal Capone, and I run this joint. Beat it, both of them. Oh, here you go. Um, right this way. Yes. Uh, a whiskey on the rocks for you, Miss Capone. Absolutely, and keep them coming. Oh. And bring me some bread. Sliced. Uh, a, a sliced bread? You haven't heard? It's all the rage. It soaks up the alcohol so they can drink even more. <laughs> That's good, Vicky. It. it happened! Oh, it what? happened! What? 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 Congress adopted the 21st no. Amendment and Prohibition is finally over! Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Finally! Look at Let America be America again. You know, I need to write that down. If drinking is legal, that's going to cut into my bootlegging profits. Ooh. I know. I'll check out that reefer industry. They'll never legalize that. If we're going to lose all our bootlegging profits, what are we going to do? Well, I guess we could cut hair full time. Oh, hell. How long can that last? Pretty interesting stuff, huh? Mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Langston Hughes yes. stuff, especially. I like but, uh, that. Real quick, mm. how much longer is this cut gonna take? Can't brush great. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, everybody. Hey, I baby. made you some moon. Oh, oh hey, oh, hey. hey. Eyes, my Thanks, Miss Mabel. Mm. <laughs> uh, these are delicious. Uh, mm -hmm. Reminds me of the, the moon landing. Yeah, which actually happened right here in this shop. No, no, Smitty. It, it happened on the moon back in the 60s. Okay, enough. You know, I see what this is. It actually happens to me a lot. I'll just take my haircut and go. I'm sorry, no. I can't declare this place a historical landmark. Why not, Isaac Hazelnick? Yeah. <laughs> There's just simply not enough historical well, evidence. I was just getting to that. You ever hear of the Black Panthers? There's no way in hell that happened here. No, but something bigger did. <laughs> there you go. How is that even a question, my brother? Muhammad Ali is the greatest boxer of all time. Look, I respect Cassius Clay, Negro, but Sugar Ray Robinson, whoo, he the bee's knees. Okay, see, so y'all sleeping on the youngsters. Somebody like George Foreman, he gonna be the greatest. I, I don't know, bro, hmm? I don't know. I've seen him fight. He can't even guard his own grill. <laughs> What'd I say? Peace, my brother. Oh. Snap, snap, chop, chop. Ah. I come to invite you to a groovy gathering. All right. What, uh, a, a protest? Oh, we are trying to end the Vietnam War. All right. Well, good luck, Foxy Mama. But I think we're going to get to the moon before we get out of Vietnam. Yeah, you know, like, I'm usually not too political, but if it's Muhammad Ali against the war, well, I'm against the war. Far out, man. I dig that. Yeah, you feel it? You feel it? Ah, yeah. what? Yeah. You, 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 uh -huh. you better, you better oh. watch it. <laughs> Greetings, brother. Hey, it's hey. Salutations. All right. We looking for some cool cats to join the movement. The movement? Yeah, uh, like the new dance craze, like uh, the twist or the locomotion? <laughs> no, no, Ike Turner. Mm. We talk about the real movement here. Yeah. The revolution. Revolution. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll check that out on the news on my brand new color television. Uh, no, sir. The revolution will not be televised. Ooh, I dig what you're saying. The revolution of love starts with the people. That's right, sister. <laughs> with the people indeed, my sister. But the man got you believing in a love revolution as opposed to a true solution. Hold on. I was about to cut this brother's hair down, but then I saw something huh? when I picked it out. Heavy. Oh, bummer, Jack. Oh. I look like a snow cone. No, no, my brother. You look powerful. What? Yeah. Yes, powerful. Yeah. Right on, right on, child. Powerful. Why should we conform to the white man's hairstyle? Uh, you know, I was thinking, maybe we should tell Huey and Bobby about this new hairstyle. I think it'll yeah. make a statement. 
We should call it the uh, Afro-American hairdo. What you think? Afro-American. I think maybe we should shorten it to make it flow. Yeah. Why don't we call it the Afro? Ooh. Chop, chop, chop. Righteous. Well, as long as it continues to bring customers in, we'll be cutting Afros forever. The Afro really started yes, here. Right. And the Gumby, too, I think. Hey, hey. hey Jay, the, uh, we have a quick here question for you. Yeah, where did the Afro originate? Hey, we already told the Afro story. Uh, damn, I want us to look like one of the DeBarge brothers. That's a lot of history, huh, Yo, Bill? shoot. <laughs> look, I've wasted enough time here. I really gotta go. Don't do that. <laughs> Listen, there was a time when my father couldn't leave the barbershop as easily as you can right now. <laughs> Life in the barbershop isn't all fun and games. Mm. right now, man. How long are these rides gonna keep going? How long is the police gonna keep treating us like animals? Oh, we gonna be here for a while, huh? Well, then we got time to finish up this conversation. Huh. Because Michael Jordan is the greatest basketball player ever played again. <laughs> Listen here, Sleazy E. Yeah. He's only got two rings. Call me when he's got 11, like Bill Russell. Oh, hold up, man. Have any of these clowns ever scored over 100 points or slipped with 20,000 women? Hmm. No. Well, Will Chamberlain is still the man. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you got to hit that. He got it. Yeah, it's, no. It's, he go. Oh, hey. Go, go, go. Hey. Whoa. Black home. Black home. Well, I think somebody might need oh. some help. All right, all right. Hey. Come on, come on. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. Oh. Thank you for opening up. Oh my God, it's crazy out there, y'all. Why are we destroying our own neighborhood? Yeah, we need to go take over their neighborhoods and destroy theirs. Right? The people out there, they just looting all the black-owned businesses. Yeah, I said we go to Rodeo Drive in Beverly Hills and loot theirs. I see. Oh, there you go. There you go. Right there. Ooh. Oh, y'all black-owned. Hey. All right. All right. Oh, come on in, my skin. Oh, I love these damn riots. Where you find that at? In the store. Uh, did you enter from the front door? I might have broke a window to enter, but don't judge me. I never had a VCR before. Now I could tape all those new shows like Blossom and Dinosaurs and Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Yeah, that new sheezy called Martiz is getting ready to come on. It's gonna be off the east. Oh, I think I got a disease. Hey, I got coffee for everybody whenever you're ready. All oh, right. right. Hey. There you go. So, what was historical about this place during the riots? Uh, yeah. Well, I, <laughs> it wasn't about the riots, uh, or, or the 60s, or even the 20s. Mm. It, it was about all of it. You see, th this barbershop is, is a staple in the community. Yeah, not only was it started by a black man, it's still owned by a black man. My pop. <laughs> see, times come and go. Hairstyles go in and out of style. But this barbershop been a safe haven for this community in all times. Good and bad. Yeah. Yes, and everything Jay said about this shop applies to the beauty salon right next door. Right. And Mabel's Tables. We aren't just a barbershop, a salon, and a restaurant. We are community centers. And this is where Abraham Lincoln got shot by Lee Harvey Oswald. <laughs> <laughs> Not now, Smitty. You know, the other day I took my son to the neighborhood where I grew up and there was nothing to show him. Mm -hmm. The park I used to play is now a parking lot. Uh -huh. The old corner store is now a moon box. Mm -hmm. And the place I used to get my hair cut is a yoga studio. <laughs> well, you know, I have been wanting to get a good stretch in at yoga. <laughs> Jay, I never knew that there was that much history in this community. Yeah. I promise I will never live around here again. <laughs> so I guess this is uh, my lazy too, huh? Uh, yeah, yeah, unless I find out that you have an older brother that I don't know about <laughs> that's going to steal your inheritance. <laughs> well, you know what? It is so great to see people so impassioned about their community. Mm -hmm. Oh, about yeah. our, our community. Yeah. <laughs> and maybe I should do my part to help fight for this community, too. Well, you going to run for president? Because you got my vote. Uh, no. No, I'm saying I'm going to help you have this place declared a historical land. Yeah! 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 We'll make about. them find a different block to run the highway yeah. plane. Yeah? Yeah. Well, you just earned yourself free haircuts for life. Uh, mm, yeah. 
today is an example of the typical service. I don't think I have time for any more free hair. No. <laughs> and you're welcome to a free meal at Mabel's anytime. She makes the best skunk monkey stew you ever tasted. <laughs> yeah, how is that even a question? Uh, Tiger Woods is the greatest golfer of all time. Oh, I'm saying, Jay, is Arnold Palmer's bigger because he's in every restaurant in the world. I don't know, Smitty, man. I think Jay has a point. You know, Tiger Woods does have a hell of a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but seriously, <laughs> I'm glad this place is here for these pointless sports debates. Some things never change. You know what else we should bring back? What's that? Drinking on the job. Oh. <laughs>